Bob Newhart, the beloved stand-up comedian known for his dry, deadpan humor and two critically acclaimed CBS sitcoms, passed away this past Thursday, July 18th at the age of 94 in his Los Angeles home. We know that one of Bob's homes located in Bel Air boasted over 9,000 square feet of space, five bedrooms, a separate guest apartment, a lagoon pool, and much more. The Chicago native who won the Grammy Awards for Album of the Year and Best New Artist for his 1960 breakthrough record, The Button Down Mind of Bob Newhart, died after a series of short illnesses, according to his longtime publicist. Born on September 5, 1929 in Oak Park, Illinois, George Robert Newhart, better known as Bob Newhart, grew up in a close-knit Irish Catholic family. He was a son of Julia Pauline Burns and George David Newhart, a businessman. Newhart was the second of four children with three sisters. He attended St. Ignatius College Prep and then Loyola University, Chicago, where he earned a bachelor's degree in business management back in 1952. After college, he was drafted into the U.S. Army during the Korean War and served as a personnel manager until his discharge. It seems that Newhart's career in comedy was meant to be. While working as an accountant, he and a friend would record funny telephone conversations, which they then sent to a radio station. This unique approach caught the attention of Warner Brothers Records, leading to his first album, The Button Down Mine of Bob Newhart in 1960. The album became a massive success, earning him Grammy Awards for Album of the Year and Best New Artist. His unique, deadpan delivery quickly established him as a major talent in the industry. Bob Newhart's TV career was marked by two highly successful sitcoms. The Bob Newhart Show, which featured him as Dr. Robert Hartley, a Chicago psychologist, and following this, he starred in Newhart, playing innkeeper Dick Loudon in a quirky Vermont town. The series finale of Newhart is often cited as one of the best in TV history. When it comes to his family life, Bob married Virginia Jenny Quinn, the daughter of character actor Bill Quinn in 1963, and the couple went on to have four children. Their marriage was a strong and enduring one, lasting over five decades until Jenny's passing in April 2023. Throughout his life, Bob has owned several properties and took pride in them. In fact, he famously responded to a producer who asked him not to stammer, saying that stammer built a house in Beverly Hills. In the 1970s and 1980s, he owned a beautiful home in Bel Air, Los Angeles, which he later sold. He then moved to a luxury estate in Beverly Hills, which became his main residence. This home was designed in a classic style with expansive gardens outside, as well as a swimming pool and ample space for family gatherings. In addition to his LA properties, Newhart also owned a vacation home in Montecito, California. This coastal retreat provided a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. The Montecito home was known for its stunning ocean views and serene surroundings, making it a perfect getaway for the Newhart family. Back in 2016, Bob Newhart listed his most well-known mansion located in Bel Air. The comedian purchased it in 1990 for $4.2 million, and it was designed by renowned architect Wallace Neff, built in 1941. The Mediterranean-style mansion spanned over 9,100 square feet of space with five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and even a separate structure with full guest apartment. Not to mention, aerial views also showed the impressive outside spaces, which covered 1.37 acres of landscaped grounds complete with a lagoon pool and total privacy. Located in the Eastgate area of Bel Air, Los Angeles, Newhart's former property boasted both front and rear entrances for access. True to Neff's usual design, the layout of the main house ensured that the rooms opened out to the California sunshine. Inside, included in the five bedrooms, there was a grand master suite and additionally two servants' quarters. All rooms were large and airy, with many spaces for entertaining both indoors and out. His former mansion had an entryway that greeted visitors in elegance, featuring a sweeping staircase and rich wood floors. There was a sizable living room with a fireplace and grand piano, while a nearby family room opened up to an outdoor covered patio and entertaining space. The formal dining room provided an inviting setting with plush seating, a chandelier, and large windows overlooking the lush landscape. 
There was also a bright and airy breakfast nook featuring a round table and chairs and surrounded by windows that showcased the stunning outdoor scenery. The gourmet kitchen offered top-of-the-line appliances, a generous island and custom cabinets, offering an ideal space for any aspiring chefs. Moving outside, Bob's former home was meticulously landscaped on its grounds with a lagoon-style pool and a vast grassy lawn. The backyard with its manicured lawns and vibrant blooming plants offered quite the peaceful escape. The lagoon pool was surrounded by natural stone and lush foliage and nearby you could also find a pool house. Outdoor entertaining was taken to the next level with a covered seating area, complete with striped lounge chairs and space for gatherings. The poolside area includes a cozy covered entertaining space with a kitchenette and two baths, perfect for hosting. Bob actually sold this home in 2016 for a reported $14.5 million and it was subsequently demolished. Soon after the property was listed for sale as a vacant lot for $25.95 million. Pretty crazy. I for one thought the home was stunning so it's a shame he tore it down right away. Bob Newhart's impact on comedy and TV will always be remembered. His ability to blend wit, dry humor and perfect timing was like no other. Newhart's career spanning over six decades shows his lasting talent and success, and we can see that Bob Newhart's legacy will live on for many years to come. After looking at his properties, that will bring our tour to an end. Rest in peace, Bob, you will always be celebrated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!